Hey guys, miss me? I'll take that as a yes. So again, forgive me for being away for so long, but between my body, my tech, my schedule, and my sanity all breaking down, I didn't have much time to set aside for making dick jokes about people who are infinitely more talented than I'll ever be. But I'm finally back and ready to get cracking. I was gonna wait a week for the new AFI to come out so I could spray my petulant fanboy <laughs> j all over it, but while I was waiting I decided to pick up the new Pearl Jam on the off chance that it might be worth talking about and I'll be horse damned if it isn't. Lightning Bolt really comes as a surprise. It's very, very good. Not to knock Pearl Jam mind, I've loved PJ since the very beginning. Hell, they were one of the bands I had to cut from my top 10 favorites lists. It's just that their work since Vitology has been very hit or miss, in my opinion. None of it's god-festeringly awful, but apart from a few gems here or there, it's been mostly forgettable. But Lightning Bolt? Totally not the case. That was one of the things I loved about this new album. It's very hooky and infectious. Its melodies sink into your head, and you'll find yourself humming a lot of the choruses while you're waiting for that fucking footage to render in Final Cut for the update, but say Christ, budget it opens strong with Getaway and Mind Your Manners exhibiting a lot of the speed and intensity we saw in Backspacer, but this time with a bit more character and flair, the former showing off an almost 70s arena rock vibe, and the latter showing us a balls-to-the-wall punk thrash we haven't seen since Versus. Even though I did like their previous album, one of the problems I did have with Backspacer was its lack of variety. It could get just a wee bit homogenous at times. This album, though, has absolutely no problem with that. It's seriously one of the most colorful and vibrant albums they've released in years, jumping all over the place with different styles and influences. Tracks like Sirens, Pendulum, and Swallowed Hole have a touch of Wish You Were Here era Pink Floyd in them, while Let the Records Play has some great bluesy riffing in it, and Sleeping By Myself has an almost 50s doo-wop kind of feel to it. Fuck, I've been waiting for them to do that again since Last Kiss! Not to mention that all of the instrumentation on this album is as superb as it ever was. Even in their worst of times, Pearl Jam has always had a high standard in instrumental proficiency, and these guys haven't collected a single ounce of rust over the years. Matt Cameron's drums are very splashy, with a terrific use of cymbals. Stone and Mike, while perhaps a wee bit scaled back in places, still deliver plenty of soaring and twisty solos, and Jeff Ament really has some shining moments here, particularly Infallible and My Father's Son. Oh, and don't get me started on Eddie Vedder. Unlike some aging rock stars out there, this guy hasn't lost an iota of shimmer on those trademark pipes. Howling venomously, soaring elegantly, and whispering succinctly in all the right places, the man was and still is a master vocalist. Despite all the dipshits over the years who've tried to ape his style, Eddie's vocals, especially on this album, prove that when it comes to... <laughs> You accept no substitutes. The album isn't quite perfect though, it may be a wee bit ballad heavy for some, especially considering Mind Your Manners was the first single. If you're expecting an album full of tracks with that same punky thrashy goodness, you might be potentially disappointed. But even that feels like a nitpick, there's plenty of variety and color to enjoy on this album. And even though it didn't turn out to be what I expected, I still had an absolute blast with it. If you're a Pearl Jam fan, pick it up, it's a must have. And even if you aren't, I recommend giving it a few spins, it might just surprise you. It sure as hell surprised me. Lightning Bolt gets four and a half out of five.